G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist and I'm coming to you today with a new product launched by my friends at Garmin. This is the Garmin Varia RCT715. Now you might be wondering, what is the difference between this new product? Well, it retains the integrated radar and integrated tail light technology. Now it packs in a 1080p higher definition camera to capture, record what's going on behind you. Alrighty folks, that's enough claptrap. Let's crack open the packaging and see what's inside. Here we go. Now I promise you this is not an ASMR video. A lot of people get a kick out of those sorts of things, watching people unpack bloody stuff. Okay, so the important safety measures and product information. We've got a USB and it's a C type connector. So that's nice to see, pardon the pun of interesting mounts here. We'll look at that momentarily. And here it is, the very RCT715. Now, you know what would be interesting? Let's compare its physical size with an existing Garmin Varia. Hold the line. And here they are, RCT715, RTL515. Physically side by side, you can see there's quite a bit of size difference. We turn them on their side side profile you can see again quite a bit of size difference to flip them over on their back so to speak different mount for the new uh, CT715 versus the traditional Garmin twist mount let's get a closer look at these mounts here very different mounting system and I have to say outwardly it looks much more secure than the traditional Garmin twist mount there's also several zip ties included and several more mounts for different seat post types and so on let's make sure that's in focus there we go and you, there's different degrees of angle you can install so this is for a very aerodynamic type seat post and then we have another one here which is a more traditional rounded type seat post and again two angles 77 degrees and 73 degrees depending on placement and so on and the Garmin strap system to actually mount this tail light. Now I'll give you a quick demo of how this mounts up. You can see the pieces I just showed you. There they are. There are the different mounts. There's the steps. So it's pretty simple and like I mentioned a moment ago, it should be much more secure than the traditional twist mount Garmin connection system. Let's compare the weights really quick. RTL 515, 71 grams. RCT 715, 147 grams, but obviously a lot more technology packed into this tail light. But I know a lot of you are going to wonder how is the runtime affected with the integrated camera. Now, according to Garmin, they're saying if you put the tail light into solid mode, so the light running all the time, you will get four hours of runtime with the camera recording non-stop. Alternatively, if you place the rear tail light into nighttime flash mode, you can expect another four hours of runtime. But for the ultimate setting, you should place it into the daylight tail light mode, which will give you six hours and continuous recording. The other questions I know you're going to ask about this device. If an incident is detected, video footage from before, during and after the event will automatically be saved. You can easily access the video content on this device and customize camera settings and so on using the Varia app, which I'll obviously have to install upon my handy dandy phone right here. So nothing changes in terms of visibility. Drivers can still see you a mile away, so that's super handy. And retail price is 399 US dollars for the lights and all the mounts that I showed you a moment ago, etc. To be expected, the RCT715 is compatible with all the Garmin Edge cycling computers. So if you've got a 1030 Plus or a 830 like I've got here, no worries at all. It's also compatible with Garmin smartwatches or the Varia smart device app on your phone. Here you can see I have the appropriate shim in place. There is the mount and here is the special Garmin strap to hold it onto the seat post which is a lot more secure than the single strap of the older Varia models. Okay, that's securely latched down and centered. 
this is the locking mechanism. So you push down to lock in place and up to release. Let's grab the tail light, tail light, push in and then lock down, locked in place. Let's show the other angle so you can see what I did. Now to install the tail light, simply snap it into its receptacle. It's in place, then use the little latch piece here, pull down, all the way down, it's locked in place. And to remove, pull up, done. Now Garmin isn't paying me to say this, I pretty much ride their technology on every single bike ride, whether it be their computers or their Garmin Berry tail lights. In fact, I feel naked on the bike if I don't have a tail light lashed to the back of my seat post. Now some people love mirrors, I totally understand that. This is like having a second pair of eyeballs but utilizing modern technology. You still cannot replace having a look over your shoulder to make sure that nothing is behind you such as a big truck or vehicle and so on. But I do know that a lot of folks watching this video also trust this technology. And I sincerely hope that this review sample goes well during the coming long-term review. So there you have it, my product feature of sorts of the new Garmin Berry RCT715. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for content such as this. No bull Rama, gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and general madness, as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.